स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रश्मि एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल ट्रिक्स टू क्रैक कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन लाइंस एंड एंगल्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ सॉल्यूशंस टू ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ ऑल द एक्सरसाइजेस हैज बीन सॉल्व स्टार्टिंग विथ अ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इज अ पॉइंट वॉट इज अ पॉइंट पॉइंट इट इज अ बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ जोमेट्री वॉट इज पॉइंट पॉइंट इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ जोमेट्री पॉइंट गिवज एन एक्जैक्ट लोकेशन इट गिवज एन एक्जैक्ट लोकेशन पॉइंट हैज नो लेंथ नो ब्रेड और थिकनेस इट हैज नो लेंथ ब्रेड और थिकनेस एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल लेटर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश इट इज डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल लेटर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश एग्जाम्पल पॉइंट ए इट कैन बी सेड एज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस एज पॉइंट पी पॉइंट पी next definition what is a line it is the collection of points which are arranged in straight path line it is the collection of points which are arranged in straight path endlessly in both the direction line is the collection of points which are arranged in straight path endlessly in both the direction it has length but not breadth line has only length but not breadth and it is denoted by english alphabets it is denoted by english alphabets example so it can be said as line l and this is line m n line m n or it can be written as like this line m n so this is line a b and it can be written as ए बी बार एंड वी से इट एज अ लाइन ए बी नेक्स्ट वॉट इज लाइन सेगमेंट वॉट इज लाइन सेगमेंट इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइन लाइन सेगमेंट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइन विच हैज two end point which has two end point with definite length line segment is a part of line which has two end point with definite length example 
so say this is a line segment ab and we write it as a ab bar and we call it as line segment ab what is a ray ray is also a part of a line which has one end point or initial point and other end moves endlessly in one direction ray is also a part of a line which has one end point or initial point and other end moves endlessly other end moves endlessly in one direction and other properties of ray are it has no breadth or thickness ray does not have breadth and thickness no breadth and thickness it is represented by ab bar we call it as a ray ab or ray pq it is represented by ray ab or ray pq example here this is a ray ab one is the end point and other end moves endlessly we call it as a ray ab and this second example this as a ray pq or we can take this as a end point and other end moves we call it also as a ray pq so this is about a ray next plane what is a plane a plane is a flat smooth surface that extends indefinitely in all direction what is a plane a plane is a flat smooth surface that extends indefinitely in all direction indefinitely in all direction plane has length and breadth but no thickness it has length breadth but no thickness example the table top and surface of blackboard these are planes the table top and surface of blackboard what are parallel lines pair of lines which are moving in same direction without meeting each other pair of lines which are moving in same direction without meeting each other and they are equidistant from each other what are parallel lines parallel lines are the pair of lines which are moving in same direction without meeting each other and they are equidistant from each other example line l 
M and N are parallel lines. So, say for example, line L, line M and line N are the parallel lines. I am going to draw these lines here. So, this is line L, M and N. All these are parallel to each other. L is parallel to M, M is parallel to N. Next, we will see about the intersecting lines. What are intersecting lines? The lines which are meeting at a common point are called intersecting lines. The lines which are meeting at a common point are called intersecting lines. Lines. What are intersecting lines? The lines which are meeting at a common point are called intersecting lines and they passes through each other. They passes through each other. Example, say line M and N are intersecting lines. I will draw the line A, B and C, D also intersecting lines. Say this is a line A, B and this is a line C, D. Both the lines are intersecting lines. Again I will draw here line M and N. These are also intersecting lines. What are collinear and non-collinear points? If three or more than three points lie on the same line, then they are called collinear points. Otherwise, they are called non-collinear points. Example, here line is given consisting of a three points. In the above figure, P, Q and R are collinear points. P, Q and R, these are collinear points. And in the adjoining figure, A, B and C are non-collinear points. So, in the triangle, these A, B and C, these points are what? Non-collinear points. Collinear means Three or more than three points lie on the same line. Angle. What is the angle? The figure formed by two rays with the same initial point is called an angle. In the above figure, the common Initial point B is known as the vertex of the angle. So, see the figure here. B, it is an angle. The common initial point B is known as the vertex of the angle. And the rays BA and BC for forming the B and B C, these are two rays forming the angle or called its arms or sides. Now we will see types of angles. Types of angles. There are different types of angles such as acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle and complete angle etc. which are discussed below. First one is a acute angle. An angle whose measure is 
more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. So in the figure here you can see the acute angle in the below figure angle AOB is an acute angle which is in between 0 degree and 90 degree. Second one is a right angle. An angle whose measure is 90 degree is called a right angle. So you can observe this figure. Here angle AOB is a right angle. In the above figure angle AOB is a right angle. That is angle AOB is equal to 90 degree and BO is perpendicular to OA. Third, obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle. In the given figures, here it is an angle AOB is an obtuse angle and angle AOB and angle PQR angle PQR is also obtuse angle first one angle AOB is lying between 90 to 180 degree even angle PQR is also lying between 90 to 180 degree so it, these are forming a obtuse angle fourth straight angle an angle whose measure is 180 degree is called a straight angle. In the given figure, angle AOB is 180 degree is a straight angle. So, this is the figure for a straight angle. A straight angle has two right angles. Fifth one is reflex angle an angle whose measure is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle in the given figures angle aob and angle pqr are reflex angles so you can observe this angle aob is a reflex angle which is lying between 180 to 360 degree even angle PQR is also lying between 180 degree to 360 degree. So these are reflex angles. Next type of angle is complete angle. An angle whose measure is 360 degree is called a complete angle. In the given figure, angle AOA is 360 degree is a complete angle. So, this is the figure for a complete angle. Next concept is pair of angles. Some of the pair of angles are complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair of angles. First, we will see about complementary angles. Two angles are said to be complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degree. So in the adjoining figure, angle COB, so this is 40 degree and this is 50 degree. Angle COB and angle AOC are complementary angles because 40 plus 50 is 90 degree. Complementary angles forms 90 degree. Next supplementary angles. So these supplementary angles. Two angles are said to be supplementary. If the sum of their measures is 180 degree. In the given figure angle BOC and Angle AOC are supplementary angles because 
angle BOC plus angle AOC is equal to 180 degree that is 120 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 180 degree. So supplementary angles forms 180 degree angle. Third is a bisector of an angle. A ray which divides an angle into two equal parts is called bisector of an angle. If ray AD is a bisector of angle BAC, then we can say that angle BAD is equal to angle CAD is equal to half of angle BAC. So, bisector of the angle divides an angle into two equal parts. Fourth type is adjacent angles. In the adjacent angles, Two angles are called adjacent angles if they have a common vertex, they have a common arm and their non-common arms are on different sides of the common arm. So you can see the figure. In the given figure, angle AOC and angle COB are adjacent angles because these angles have a common vertex O and a common arm OC and non-common arms OA and OB are on different sides of the common ray OC. When two angles are adjacent, then their sum is always equal to the angle formed by the two non-common arms. So here angle AOB is equal to angle AOC plus angle COB. Fifth is linear pair of angles. If the non-common arms of two adjacent angles form a line, then these angles are called linear pair of angles. So you can observe this figure. Here angle AOC and angle BOC form a linear pair of angles. Angle AOC and angle BOC form a linear pair of angles. Or we can say that supplementary angles. Sixth one, vertically opposite angles. Two angles are called a pair of vertically opposite angles if their arms form two pairs of opposite rays. So by observing these figures, we can say that angle AOD and angle BOC are vertically opposite angles. In other words, when two lines intersect each other at a point, then there are two pairs of vertically opposite angles. In the above figure, lines AB and CD intersect each other at O. So, angle AOC and angle BOD are vertically opposite angles. And also, angle AOD and angle BOC are also vertically opposite angles. One of the theorem is if two lines intersect each other then the vertically opposite angles are equal. If two lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles are equal. Given two lines A, B and C, D intersect each other at a point O. Here we have to prove that the vertically opposite angles are equal that is angle AOC is equal to angle BOD and angle AOD is equal to angle BOC. 
प्रूफ हियर रे ओ सी स्टैंड ऑन अ लाइन ए बी रे ओ सी स्टैंड ऑन अ लाइन ए बी देर फो एंगल ए ओ सी प्लस एंगल बी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री बाय लीनियर पेर एक्जियम अगेन रे ओ बी स्टैंड ऑन अ लाइन सी डी देर फो एंगल बी ओ सी प्लस एंगल बी ओ डी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री एंड फ्रॉम दीज टू इक्वेशन्स वी कैन से दैट एंगल ए ओ सी प्लस एंगल बी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ सी प्लस एंगल बी ओ डी सो दीज टू गेट कैंसल देन एंगल ए ओ सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ डी सिमिलरली वी कैन प्रूव दैट एंगल ए ओ डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ सी सो दिस इज अबाउट द वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स नेक्स्ट वॉट आर पैरल लाइन्स ऑलरेडी हुई हैव सीन इफ टू लाइन्स लाई इन द सेम प्लेन एंड डू नॉट इंटरसेक्ट वेन प्रोड्यूस्ड ऑन आइदर साइड देन सच लाइन्स आर सेट टू बी पैरल टू ईच अदर सो दिस इज लाइन एम एंड दिस इज लाइन एल बोथ आर पैरल टू ईच अदर If line L and M are two parallel lines, we write L parallel to M and read it as L is parallel to M. Clearly, when L is parallel to M, then M is parallel to L. Next, transversal line, a straight line which cuts two or more straight lines at distinct points is called a transversal. line so this is line m and this is line l here line l is the transversal of the lines in the above figure line l is a transversal of the lines m and n respectively if line l intersect m and n at points p and q respectively then four angles are formed at each of the points p and q namely angle 1 angle 2 and so on up to angle 8 angles 1 2 7 and 8 are called exterior angles while angles 3 4 5 and 6 are called interior angles we will see another theorem that is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal given ab parallel to cd and a transversal r cuts ab at p and cd at q and make two pairs of alternate interior angles 3 5 and 4 6 so these two are lines a b c d we have to prove here angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 4 is equal to angle 6 proof will be angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because vertically opposite angles and angle 1 is equal to angle 5 these are corresponding angles take these as equation number 1 and 2 then from equation 1 and 2 left hand sides are equal then right hand sides are also, are also equal that is angle 3 is equal to angle 5 again angle 2 is equal to angle 4 these are vertically opposite angles and angle 2 is equal to angle 6 corresponding angles from 3 and 4 we can say that angle 4 is equal to angle 6 therefore it is proved we will see some more theorems another theorem is if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal then the two lines are parallel this is the converse of above theorem given 
a transversal r intersects two lines a b and c d at points p and q respectively such that angle 3 is equal to 5 and angle 4 is equal to 6 here we have to prove ab is parallel to cd proof we have angle 3 is equal to angle 5 that is alternate interior angles and angle 3 is equal to angle 1 these are vertically opposite angles take these as equation number 1 and 2 then from equation 1 and 2 we get angle 1 is equal to angle 5 but these are corresponding angles so ab is parallel to cd by converse of corresponding angles axiom next theorem is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary given lines ab and cd are parallel and a transversal r cuts ab and cd at points p and q respectively thus two points of interior angles 4 5 and 3 6 are formed here we have to prove each pair of interior angles on the same side of a transversal are supplementary that is angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree and angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree proof ray pq stands on a line ab angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree this is by linear pair axiom take it as equation number 1 but angle 3 is equal to angle 5 these are alternate interior angles on putting angle 3 is equal to angle 5 in equation 1 we get angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree again ray pq stand on line cd then angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree because by linear pair axiom take this as equation number 2 but angle 5 is equal to angle 3 that is alternate interior angles substitute it in equation 2 then we get angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree so angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree and angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree next theorem is if a transversal intersect two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then two lines are parallel so this is the converse of above theorem given a transversal r intersect two lines ab and cd at p and q respectively such that angles 3 6 and 4 5 are pairs of interior angles on the same side of r and angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree here we have to prove ab is parallel to cd so observe this parallel lines angle 3 is equal to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree angle 7 is equal to angle 5 which is 60 degree because vertically opposite angles angle 7 plus angle 8 is equal to 180 degree these are by linear pair axiom therefore angle 60 plus angle 8 is equal to 180 degree or angle 8 is equal to 180 minus 60 is 120 angle 6 is equal to angle 8 both are 120 because vertically opposite angles and angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 60 plus 120 is 180 degree angle 3 and 6 are supplementary angles thus transversal r intersects lines a and b such that pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary hence lines a and b are parallel
लास्ट थेरम दिस थेरम इज रिलेटेड टू लाइन्स पैरल टू द सेम लाइन लाइन्स विच आर पैरल टू द सेम लाइन आर पैरल टू ईच अदर गिवन थ्री लाइन्स ए बी सी सच दैट ए पैरल टू सी एंड बी पैरल टू सी हियर वी हैव टू प्रूव ए इज पैरल टू बी कंस्ट्रक्शन ड्रॉ ए ट्रांसफर्सल आर कटिंग ए बी एंड सी एट पॉइंट्स पी क्यू एंड आर रेस्पेक्टिवली सो दिस इज द फिगर दैट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ए इज पैरल टू सी एंड बी इज पैरल टू सी प्रूफ सिंस पैरल लाइन्स ए एंड सी आर इंटरसेक्टेड बाय द ट्रांसफर्सल आर एट द पॉइंट्स पी एंड आर रेस्पेक्टिवली देर फोर एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू एंगल थ्री बिकॉज करस्पोडिंग एंगल्स एक्सीम टेक दिस एज ए इक्वेशन नंबर वन अगेन पैरल लाइन्स बी एंड सी आर इंटरसेक्टेड बाय द ट्रांसफर्सल आर एट पॉइंट्स क्यू एंड आर देर फोर एंगल टू इज इक्वल टू एंगल थ्री दीज आर करस्पोडिंग एंगल्स एक्सीम From equation one and two, we get angle one is equal to angle two, but these are corresponding angles. Therefore, A is parallel to B by converse of corresponding angles axiom. Now we will solve exercise problems. Exercise six point one, first question. In figure six point one three, lines A, B, and C, D. intersect at o if angle aoc plus angle boe is equal to 70 degree and angle bod is equal to 40 degree find angle boe and reflex angle coe solution given angle aoc plus angle boe is equal to 70 degree take this as equation number 1 and also given that angle bod is equal to 40 degree take this as equation number 2 now lines ab and cd intersect each other at o A, B, and C, D intersect each other at O. So, angle A, O, C is equal to angle B, O, D because both are vertically opposite angles. So, you can observe the figure. Angle A, O, C is equal to angle B, O, D, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, we can say that angle A, O, C is also equal to Forty degree. This is from equation two. Now equation one. That is angle AOC is forty degree now. Forty plus angle BOE is equal to. Seventy degree. Then angle BOE is equal to seventy minus forty degree. Seventy minus forty is thirty. So angle BOE is equal to thirty degree. We have got angle BOE. Then find angle reflex angle COE. Before finding reflex angle COE, first find angle COE. Here, OB is a ray on CD. OB is a ray on CD. So, angle BOD plus angle BOC is equal to one eighty degree because both are linear pair. Now. This angle BOC can be written as angle COE plus angle BOE, BOD as it is. 
then this boc angle can be written as angle coe plus angle boe which is equal to 180 degree angle bod is how much angle bod is 40 degree and angle coe as it is plus angle boe is 30 degree which is equal to 180 angle coe plus 40 plus 30 is 70 degree which is equal to 180 now angle coe is equal to 180 minus 70 that is 110 degrees now we got angle coe as 110 degrees but we have to find reflex angle coe so for the reflex angle coe what we have to do we have to subtract this 110 in 360 degree reflex angle coe is equal to 360 minus angle coe 360 minus 110 degree which is 250 degrees therefore reflex angle coe is equal to 250 degrees second question in figure 6.14 lines xy and mn intersect at o if angle poy is equal to 90 degree and a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 find c solution op is a ray on the line xy op is what it is a ray on the line xy therefore angle pox plus angle POY is equal to 180 degree because this is a linear pair. Linear pair forms an angle 180 degree. Angle POX is B plus A plus angle POY is 90 degree which is equal to 180 degree. Now, this A plus B is equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. Take this as a equation number 1. Let A is equal to 2x and B is equal to 3x. Then, from this equation number 1, 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degree. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 5x is equal to 90 degree means x is equal to 90 by 5. 5 1s are 5, 18 is 90. So we got a x value as 18 degrees. Therefore, a is equal to 2x that is 2 into 18 is 36 degrees and b value is 3x that is 3 into 18 is 54 degrees. So, values of A is 36 and B is 54 degrees. Also, we have to find the value of C. Therefore, angle XOM plus angle XON is equal to 180 degree because it is a linear pair. Here, angle XOM is B plus XON is C which is equal to 180 degree. B is 54 plus C is equal to 180. Then C will be 180 minus 54. After subtracting, we get it as 126 degrees. So, angle C is 126 degrees. Third question. In figure 6.15, angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ then prove that angle PQS is equal to angle PRT. Solution here given that angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ and we have to prove here what we have to prove angle PQS is equal to angle PRT proof 
here s q r is a straight line s q r is a straight line and p q is a ray on it s q r is a straight line and p q is a ray on it This implies angle PQS plus angle PQR is equal to one eighty degree because it is a linear pair. Take this as a equation number one. QRT is a straight line. QRT is also a straight line, and PR is a ray on it. PR is a ray on it. This implies angle PRT plus angle PRQ is equal to one eighty degrees. So take this as equation number two, and this is a linear pair. Now from equation one nine two from Equation one nine two. We get angle PQS plus angle PQR is equal to angle PRT plus angle PRQ. This implies angle PQS plus angle PQR can be written as angle PRQ. Is equal to angle PRT plus angle PRQ. Since we have used angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ, which is given in the question. Therefore, from left hand side and right hand side both get cancelled. Remaining is angle PQS is equal to angle PRT. so this is only you have to prove therefore write it as hence proved fourth question in figure 6.16 if x plus y is equal to w plus z then prove that aob is a line solution it can be observed that it can be observed that x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 360 degrees because it forms a complete angle therefore x plus y plus z plus w is equal to how much 360 degrees and it is given that x plus y is equal to w plus z x plus y is equal to w plus z therefore the above equation becomes x plus y plus x plus y is equal to 360 degrees this implies 2 into x plus y is equal to 360 degree Then x plus y is equal to three sixty by two means one eighty degrees. So x plus y becomes one eighty means since x and y form a linear pair, x and y form a linear pair, then we can say that AOB is a line. AOB is a line. Fifth question. In figure six point one seven, POQ is a line. Ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ. OS is another ray lying between rays OP and OR. Prove that angle ROS is equal to half of angle QOS minus angle POS. Solution. Solution given. P O Q is a line. 
so here it is given that poq is a line and or is perpendicular to pq therefore angle por is equal to angle qor is equal to 90 degree then we can say that angle por is equal to 90 degree this implies angle por is nothing but angle pos plus angle ros is equal to 90 degree which is equal to angle qor now on adding angle ros to both sides on adding angle ros to both sides then we get this angle pos and angle ros as it is plus angle ros is added is equal to angle qor plus angle ros so this becomes angle pos plus 2 into angle ros is equal to this qor and ros becomes angle qos then 2 angle ros is equal to angle qos minus angle pos this implies angle ros is equal to half of angle qos minus angle pos so this is only we have to prove here at last write a sentence as hence proved sixth question it is given that angle xy z is equal to 64 degrees and xy is produced to point p draw a figure from the given information if ray yq bisects angle zyp find angle xyq and reflex angle qyp solution here it is given that angle xyz is equal to 64 degrees angle xyz is equal to 64 degrees and xy is produced to point p xy is produced to point p so pyx is a straight line pyx is a straight line then or therefore angle pyx is equal to 180 degrees angle pyx is equal to 180 degrees now yz is a ray on line pyx yz is a ray on line pyx now i am going to draw a figure with these given values this is p x y z and q angle x y z is 64 degrees so by observing the figure angle x y z plus angle z y p is equal to 180 degrees because these are linear pair angle x y z is 64 degrees plus angle z y p is equal to 180 degree then angle z y p is equal to 180 minus 64 now subtract these two angles 180 minus 64 is 
116 degrees. Therefore, angle ZYP is equal to 116 degrees. This ZYP can also be written as angle ZYQ plus angle QYP which is equal to 116 degrees. Take this as a equation number 1. If ray YQ bisects angle ZYP, if ray YQ bisects angle ZYP, then we can say that angle QYP is equal to angle ZYQ. If ray is bisecting, then both the angles are equal here. So, take this as a equation number 2. Now, equation 1 becomes angle ZYQ as it is plus angle QYP can be written as angle ZYQ is equal to 116 degrees using equation 2. Now add these two angles this becomes 2 angle ZYQ is equal to 116 degrees then angle ZYQ is equal to 116 by 2 that is 58 degrees. So, take this as a equation number 3. From equation 2 and 3. From equation 2 and 3. Angle QYP is 58 degrees. So, angle QYP becomes 58 degrees. Now, angle XYQ. Angle XYQ is equal to angle xyz plus angle zyq so which is equal to xyz is given as 64 degrees plus angle zyq is 58 on adding these two we get 122 degrees so angle xyq is equal to 122 degrees now we got xyq angle and reflex angle QYP is equal to 360 minus angle QYP. 360 and angle QYP is 58 degrees. 360 minus 58 is 302 degrees. So, reflex angle QYP is equal to 302 degrees. Exercise 6.2 First question In figure 6.28 Find the values of X and Y And then show that AB is parallel to CD Solution Here L is a straight line L is a straight line So X plus 50 is equal to 180 degree because it is a linear pair then x will be 180 minus 50 that is 130 degrees so x value is 130 degrees now line l and cd intersect each other at a point now line L and CD intersect each other at a point. So Y is equal to 130 degrees because these are vertically opposite angles. Y is equal to 130 because vertically opposite angles. Thus, X is equal to Y is equal to 130 degrees. X is equal to Y is equal to 130 degrees. And these are alternate interior angles. X and Y are what? 
ఆల్టర్నేట్ ఇంటీరియర్ యాంగిల్స్ ఇఫ్ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ ఆల్టర్నేట్ ఇంటీరియర్ యాంగిల్స్ దెన్ వీ క్యాన్ సే దట్ ఏబీ ఈజ్ ప్యారలెల్ టు సిడి బై థేరమ్ second question in figure 6.29 if ab is parallel to cd cd is parallel to ef and y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 find x solution given ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef therefore we can say that AB is parallel to EF. Since lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So by this theorem we can say that AB is parallel to EF. then angle x is equal to angle z because these are alternate interior angles alternate interior angles and take this as a equation number 1 also given that what it is given y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 this implies y is to x y is to x is equal to 3 is to 7 so we have used the equation number 1 let us take that angle y is equal to 3a and angle x is equal to 7a now AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degree. Since interior angles are supplementary. Angle X and Y are interior angles which are supplementary. Supplementary means 180 degrees. Now, X is 7A and angle Y is 3a which is equal to 180 degrees 7a plus 3a is 10a equal to 180 degrees then a value will be 180 by 10 that is 18 degrees so we got a value then find out angle x hence x is equal to 7a that is 7 into 18 is equal to 126 degrees so angle x we got it as a 126 degrees third question in figure 6.30 if ab is parallel to cd ef is perpendicular to cd and angle ged is equal to 126 degrees find angle age angle gef and angle fge solution here angle age is equal to angle ged angle age is equal to angle ged because alternate interior angles so these two angles are alternate interior angles so this implies angle age is equal to 126 degrees because it is given that angle GED is equal to 126 degrees. So this is 126 then angle AGE also becomes 126 degrees. Both are alternate interior angles. Now angle GEF is equal to angle GED minus angle fed angle ged is 126 degrees and fed is 90 degrees 
then angle GEF is equal to 36 degrees. Since EF is perpendicular to CD, this implies angle FED is also equal to 90 degree. Also, AB is a straight line. AB is a straight line and EG is a ray on it. EG is a ray on it. So, angle FGE plus angle AGE is equal to 180 degree. This implies angle FGE is equal to angle FGE is equal to 180 minus angle AGE. That is 180 minus 126. 180 minus 126 is 54 degrees. So we got angle FGE is equal to 54 degrees. Hence, angle AGE is equal to 126 degrees and angle GEF is equal to 36 degrees and angle FGE is equal to 54 degrees. Fourth question, in figure 6.31, if PQ is parallel to ST, Angle PQR is equal to 110 degrees and angle RST is equal to 130 degrees. Find angle QRS. Hint is also given that draw a line parallel to ST through the point R. Solution. Draw a line parallel to ST. Draw a line. Parallel to ST through point R. So I have drawn already the line which is parallel to ST since angle RST plus angle SRB is equal to 180 degree. RST is given as 130 degree. So 130 plus angle SRB is equal to 180. Then we have to find the angle SRB. Angle SRB is equal to what? 180 minus 130 degree. 180 minus 130 is 50 degree. So, we got angle SRB as 50 degrees. And angle PQR plus angle QRA. PQR plus QRA is equal to 180 degree. This implies 110 plus angle QRA is equal to 180 degree. Then angle QRA is equal to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degrees. Take this as equation number 2. Now ARB is a line. So you can observe the figure. ARB is a line. Therefore angle QRA plus angle QRS plus angle SRB is equal to 180 degree because it forming a linear pair. This implies angle QRA is 70 degree plus angle QRS as it is plus angle SRB is 50 degrees equal to 180 degree. Then angle QRS is equal to 180 minus 70 minus 50. So 180 minus 120 
then angle qrs is equal to 60 degrees so we got angle qrs is equal to 60 degrees fifth question in figure 6.32 if ab is parallel to cd angle apq is equal to 50 degrees and angle prd is equal to 127 degrees find x and y solution here angle apq plus angle pqc is equal to 180 degree and apq is given as 50 degrees you can observe the figure also so this implies 50 plus angle pqc is equal to 180 then angle pqc is equal to 180 minus 50 that is 130 degrees also angle pqc plus angle pqr is equal to 180 degree therefore 130 plus x is equal to 180 degrees then angle x will be 180 minus 130 that is 50 degrees also angle apr is equal to angle prd because alternate interior angles angle apr is equal to angle prd both are alternate interior angles this implies 50 plus y is equal to 127 degrees exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior angles which implies y is equal to 127 minus 50 that is equal to 77 degrees so we got x value as 50 degrees and y value as 77 degrees question number 6 in figure 6.33 PQ and RS are two mirrors placed parallel to each other an incident ray AB strikes the mirror PQ at B the reflected ray moves along the path BC and strikes the mirror RS at C and again reflects back along CD prove that AB is parallel to CD solution draw be perpendicular to pq draw be perpendicular to pq and cf perpendicular to rs this implies be is parallel to cf so in this figure i have already marked these with green lines also angle a is equal to angle b take this as equation number 1 since angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so we already know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and angle x is equal to angle y take this as equation number 2 since this is also angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection since be is parallel to cf and bc is a transversal be is parallel to cf and bc is a transversal therefore angle b is equal to angle x because these two are alternate interior angles on multiplying two on both sides it becomes two angle b is equal to two angle x two angle b can be written as angle b plus angle b and two angle x can be written as angle x plus angle x and angle b can be written as angle a 
plus angle B is equal to angle X plus angle Y from equations 1 9 2 this implies angle ABC is equal to angle DCB which are alternate interior angles so angle ABC and angle DCB both are alternate interior angles therefore we can say that AB is parallel to CD hence proved exercise 6.3 first question in figure 6.39 sides QP and RQ of triangle PQR are produced to points S and T respectively if angle SPR is equal to 135 degrees and angle PQT is equal to 110 degrees find angle PRQ solution here angle SPR plus angle RPQ is equal to 180 degrees SPR and RPQ is equal to 180 degree because these two are linear pair this implies angle RPQ is equal to 180 minus 135 degree which is equal to 45 degrees also angle TQP plus angle RQP TQP plus RQP these two angles is equal to 180 degree because these two are also forming a linear pair TQP is given as 110 degrees plus angle RQP is equal to 180 degree so then angle RQP is equal to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degrees in triangle PQR angle PQR plus angle QPR plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degree so some of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree angle PQR is 70 degrees and angle QPR is 45 degrees plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 so this 70 plus 45 is 115 degree plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 then angle PRQ is equal to 180 minus 115 degree so after subtracting we will be getting 65 degrees so angle PRQ is equal to 65 degrees so in a triangle this is 65 degree and this angle is 70 degree and this angle is 45 degree so second question in figure 6.40 angle X is equal to 62 degrees angle XYZ is equal to 54 degrees if YO and ZO are the bisectors of angle XYZ and angle XZY respectively of angle XYZ find angle OZY and angle YOZ solution given that angle X is equal to 62 degrees and angle XYZ is equal to 54 degrees now in triangle XYZ sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees that is angle XYZ plus angle YXZ plus angle XZY is equal to 180 degrees so this is 54 degrees plus this is 62 degrees plus angle XZY is equal to 180 then angle XZY is equal to 180 degree minus 
116 degrees which is equal to 64 degrees so we got angle x chad y is equal to 64 degrees also given that what it is given y o and z o are the bisectors of angle x y z and angle x z y so y o and z o are the bisectors of angle x y z and angle x z y so we can say that angle o y z is equal to half of angle x y z which is also equal to half of angle 54 that is 27 degrees angle o y z is equal to 27 degree and angle o z y is equal to half of angle x z y that is half into 64 which is equal to 32 degrees what is the meaning of bisector bisector divides the angle into two equal halves now in triangle o y z some of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees that is angle y plus angle z plus angle o is equal to 180 degree that is 27 plus 32 plus angle y o z is equal to 180 degree then angle y o z is equal to 180 minus 59 27 plus 32 is 59 then 180 minus 59 is 121 degrees so angle yoz is equal to 121 degrees hence we got angle oz y is equal to 32 degrees and angle yoz is equal to 121 degrees third question in figure 6.41 if ab is parallel to de angle bac is equal to 35 degrees and angle cde is equal to 53 degrees find angle dce solution here angle bac is equal to angle ced because both are alternate interior angles So this implies angle CED is equal to 35 degrees since it is given that angle BAC is equal to 35 degrees. Now in triangle CDE, triangle CDE, some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree that is angle cde plus angle ced plus angle dce is equal to 180 degree so angle cd is 53 plus ced is 35 degree plus angle dce is equal to 180 then angle dce is equal to 180 minus 88 which is equal to 92 degrees so we got angle dce is equal to 92 degrees fourth question in figure 6.42 if lines pq and rs intersect at point t such that angle prt is equal to 40 degrees angle rpt is equal to 95 degrees and angle tsq is equal to 75 degrees find angle sqt solution in triangle prt so observe the figure in triangle prt some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees that is angle prt plus angle rpt plus angle PTR is equal to 180 degree and it is given as 40 angle PRT is given as 40 angle plus angle RPT is 
नाइंटी फाइव डिग्री प्लस एंगल पी टी आर इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री देन एंगल पी टी आर इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस नाइंटी फाइव प्लस फोर्टी इज वन थर्टी फाइव एंड वन एटी माइनस वन थर्टी फाइव इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज सो वी गॉट एंगल पी टी आर एज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंड एंगल पी टी आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल क्यू टी एस बिकॉज बोथ आर वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स देर फोर एंगल क्यू टी एस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ इन ट्राइंगल टी क्यू एस सो ऑब्जर्व द फिगर इन ट्राइंगल टी क्यू एस हियर ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द ऑल द एंगल्स इन अ ट्राइंगल इज वन एटी डिग्रीज एंगल क्यू टी एस प्लस एंगल टी एस क्यू प्लस एंगल टी क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज दिस इंप्लाइज फोर्टी फाइव प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस एंगल टी क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी देन एंगल टी क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सो वी गॉट एंगल टी क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्रीज हेन्स एंगल एस क्यू टी इज इक्वल टू एंगल टी क्यू एस बोथ आर सिक्सटी डिग्रीज फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इन फिगर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर थ्री इफ पी क्यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू पी एस पी क्यू इज पैरल टू एस आर एंगल एस क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट डिग्रीज एंड एंगल क्यू आर टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्रीज देन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सोल्यूशन इन ट्राइंगल क्यू एस आर सो ऑब्जर्व दिस फिगर एंगल क्यू आर टी इज एन एक्सटीरियर एंगल एंगल क्यू आर टी इज एन एक्सटीरियर एंगल सो एंगल क्यू आर टी इज इक्वल टू एंगल एस क्यू आर प्लस एंगल क्यू एस आर सिंस एक्सटीरियर एंगल इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ इंटीरियर अपोजिट एंगल्स देर फोर एंगल क्यू आर टी इज इक्वल टू एंगल एस क्यू आर प्लस एंगल क्यू एस आर दिस इंप्लाइज एंगल क्यू आर टी इज सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्रीज विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट प्लस एंगल क्यू एस आर देन एंगल क्यू एस आर इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी सेवन डिग्रीज गिवन दैट पी क्यू इज पैरल टू एस आर एंड एस क्यू इज द ट्रांसवर्सल एस क्यू इज द ट्रांसवर्सल विच इंटरसेक्ट्स विच इंटरसेक्ट्स पी क्यू एंड एस टी at q and s therefore we can say that angle qsr is equal to angle pqs because both are alternate interior angles this implies x is equal to 37 degrees x is equal to 37 degrees now in triangle pqs Some of the all the angles in a triangle is one eighty degrees. That is angle SPQ plus angle PQS plus angle PSQ is equal to one eighty. This implies ninety plus thirty seven plus Y is equal to one eighty. 
then y is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 37 is 127 this is equal to 53 degrees so we got angle y as 53 degrees hence x is equal to 37 degrees and y is equal to 53 degrees Sixth question, in figure 6.44, the side QR of triangle PQR is produced to a point S. If the bisectors of angle PQR and angle PRS meet at point T, then prove that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. Solution, in triangle TQR sum of the all the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so angle QTR plus angle TQR plus angle QRT so all these angles are equal to 180 degrees this implies angle QTR is equal to 180 minus angle TQR plus angle QRT so this is equal to 180 minus angle TQR can be written as half of angle PQR plus angle QRT can be written as angle QRP plus angle PRT so this is equal to 180 degree minus in bracket half of angle PQR plus angle QRP and this angle PRT can be written as half of 180 minus angle QRP. So this is equal to 180 minus in bracket half of angle PQR plus angle QRP plus 180 by 2 is 90 minus half of angle QRP. So again we are going to simplify this 180 minus take 90 outside and in bracket half of angle PQR plus half of angle QRP. Now this is equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 and take this half outside then remaining is angle PQR plus angle QRP. Now this is equal to 90 minus 1 by 2 in bracket so sum of the all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree then it is equal to 180 minus angle QPR. Then angle QTR is equal to 90 minus 180 by 2 is 90 degree plus half into angle QPR. Angle QTR is equal to 90-90 get cancelled remaining is half of angle QPR. So this is only we have to prove right here. Hence proved. If you feel the video is useful then please like it and subscribe my channel.